Hello everybody, what is up? How you guys doing? Today I wanted to take this commentary to talk about something that all you Easterners should know in the US. It's the magical earthquake that just appeared out of nowhere and I'm sorry for the audio here. There's no audio because my uh, recording settings were a little off. But um, yeah, this is just some AK-47 gameplay on uh, Overgrown playing some COD 4. But yeah. I will just be basically blurting out different stuff that I've heard throughout this uh, video or commentary and it's kind of, I mean, it's, I guess it's kind of amazing because, well yeah, it, well it is, it's very rare for the eastern area, or at least where I live in New Jersey, to get a actual, um, you know, massive earthquake and, uh, you know, it's pretty amazing. So what I'm going to do is actually just blurt out different things I've heard that are should be pretty accurate um, for starters if you don't know by now the earthquake was in Virginia I believe somewhere in the cap somewhere around the capital of Richmond not actually the capital itself but somewhere around it and I believe oh yeah yeah it was in Virginia for sure and it was a 5.9 earthquake now it's pretty big it it was only a mile half of a mile deep which is completely weird uh for the fact because tremors which are shakes they went all the way from north carolina to canada to the border of canada and that's pretty crazy and it doesn't make any sense because on the flip side of that it could have gone or gotten deeper and that would have made sense if the earthquake you know was actually like 50 70 miles deep in you know in the earth because then it would actually spread more but with you know a kind of earthquake like this it's ironic because usually if they're if it's um you know the shorter the distance the less uh, widespread it would be so it really doesn't make any sense now um while I was in New Jersey central New Jersey we felt it for probably about 10 seconds I would say some I heard some reports of people feeling it for 30 seconds 40 seconds but I'm sure that's um for people who are closer into uh, the earthquake more in the blast um, not blast but quake radius but yeah I find it pretty amazing and pretty um you know different for those reasons that I said you know earlier about the quake happening I did hear too that a building in New York was actually swaying back and forth, so that's pretty crazy. I feel sorry for the people who we you know were in that building at the time. And where where I was, I was I was actually in a school on the first level, so I believe the higher you up, um, the higher you are up in the air, the more you have a chance of feeling it. Um, say you're in like a four-story building, you would and you were at the top, you would feel it more. But you know, I just find it amazing how that. It's just, it's, you know, su surprising, uh, you know, like I said earlier, because the odds of that happening are slim, but, it is, you know, that just shows you how the earth is sort of crumbling, I guess, so to speak, and, you know, you should, I mean, I believe also, too, that in Colorado, uh, Colorado, like an hour before this one hit, um, on the eastern, that shook the whole eastern, uh, states I believe there was one in Colorado that was pretty big it was in the fives five range somewhere but yeah you know <laughs> that happened so I'm thinking maybe the one in Colorado no nah, it probably wouldn't be but yeah I'm thinking you know in Colorado and you know in the earth that what's happening with the earth you know and for those of you who are wondering when this happened if you don't know the time was 1 p.m and yeah one hour or yeah one yeah 151 basically somewhere oh well, yeah it w was at that time exact time 151 exactly or you know somewhere within those um second frame or minute um frame but yeah you know it's pretty crazy i also the um cell f cell phone towers were down too so i couldn't call anybody you know on my cell phone pro for um probably like a good hour an hour and a half and you know that got me a little worried but yeah some people also got some or noticed some signs of like dizziness like not signs but people thought they were dizzy when it was happening and 
And my mom was actually saying that too, but you know, I didn't believe her because I, I, I was there too right next to her and I didn't feel dizzy at all. I don't know what she's talking about, but yeah. On top of that, I was listening to the radio 101.5 and a lady said that they actually had to evacuate a Sears, I believe, because the roof collapsed. So, you know, it's pretty, that shows you how strong it is, even miles away, you know, from Virginia to New Jersey. So, you know, it's pretty crazy. And then I also believe, uh, uh, let me think here. Um, oh, yeah, some places too were evacuating. Um, some places didn't. Some places didn't even know it. I mean, it depended where you were. If you were inside like a warehouse, you probably wouldn't have felt it because you know, there was different machinery going on and, you know, different, um, just different things. And you're very, you know, you're very um, active, I would say, doing different things or moving stuff. I don't know completely what goes on in a warehouse. But then I know hospitals or probably the ho no, I think about the hospitals probably didn't have any time to evacuate ones that were farther away say within the range of um Jersey because of the fact that it was just so short and so unexpected you know that they couldn't even have time to do anything and oh yeah a lot of places evacuated too the White House evacuated Washington DC yeah White House Washington DC of course also the Pentagon I, I believe evacuated as well as maybe some hospitals that were closer but yeah i mean this this um what's most interesting to me is what was what i said before how it was such a small in the earth's crust earthquake but at the same time it was so massively widespread i mean that's crazy and ironic if you look at it and really think about it i'm wondering i'm sure of course this is going to go on for the news for three days so you know you, you guys who are wondering you know what's going to happen just go on the news and you know check there but um yeah it's pretty crazy as i repeat myself like three times before saying the same word <laughs> over <laughs> and uh what else can i think of too uh I know the town hall evacuated in New York. Um, it was it was from I think maybe Georgia. Maybe it got to Georgia. I'm not sure. But I know North Carolina all the way to Boston. Um, to give you a north slash south um, reasoning or idea of how far or widespread this is. I don't know how far it went westernly, but I do know that you know Colorado also got a earthquake, uh, massive earthquake, I believe. Yeah, like I said earlier, five, so in the five range, an hour before that or something like that. And supposedly, from what I learned, dogs can sense when bad things are going to happen before. I know a couple of dogs that actually sensed that something bad was going to happen, and then you know the earthquake happened. And I mean that. Well, that's why I learned. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed me rant or my rant about the earthquakes, and I will see you later. Bye.